the show is about to start. As you can hear, there's already people on the stage. We've got all the athletes here ready to go on stage, bikini category the first. But before the athletes have to go on the stage, there's a lot they have to go through. First, they have to do the tanning and then obviously the carb up. Yeah, on the day of the competition, you basically just um, drop as much water as you can. Uh, don't take up as, as, as little liquid as you can. Uh, reason being, it bloats you, so you try to get in a lot of uh, carbohydrates. It makes the muscle look fuller. Um, no salt at all, also retains water, no sodium. You want to also keep avoiding any like, um, like anything that will uh, make you look fuller. So any liquids, any sodium, any gassy physical drinks, you want to stay away from that. Just uh, consume your carbs. Protein is not so much of a big thing in the day itself because you've done all the work you can to build your muscle up. You just want to make it look fuller. So all sorts of carbohydrates, jelly beans, and so on, yeah. It's more about carbs, eh, and sugars. Um, I do eat a lot of carbs on the day. Okay, this is where all the athletes that compete in Fitness SA get their spray tan done. The reason why they get it done is to show more muscle definition on stage with all the lights. Um, my studies and my preparation went for, on two guys, Dean Mason and Jaco De Bruyne. Dean Mason, Jaco De Bruyne. Also, my name's Dean. I'm Jaco De Bruyne. Blonde girl, I don't know what her name is, but she's got such a nice body, I'm like, damn it. Hi, my name is Michelle van Rooyen. And Sean as well, I mean, Sean has been around for for a while. I'm Sean Deploy, um, live in Durbanville. I'm a personal trainer there at Virgin Active. He, he just showed me this year that the Sean that I know is back. It's difficult, you know, dieting is, it's every day, all day, it's non-stop, you know, it's, 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 it's hard on the person's body and mind. And, um, you know, last year I was just personally in a, not in a good space, you know, personal life. And that obviously does affect you on stage and with your diet as well, so it makes it just so much more harder. This year, it's just, you know, things have changed. Better place in my life, uh, work's going good, everything's going good, and um, yeah, everything else just falls into place, and it makes it so much easier. So I actually love it when girls come to me, and it's happened numerous times, and I feel so honored if someone asked me, yes, Anna, how can I be like you? And it is possible, it's possible for anyone. Obviously, everyone's goals is different, and your body is also different, but I'll say to them, it's possible, it's hard work, and are you willing to put the time and the effort in? I tell folks that there is no quick fix. The longer it takes to get the fat off, the longer it stays off. The best thing you can do is see a personal trainer or a dietitian. Your diet is 70% of everything. Um, the training in the gym is 30%. If your supplementation is right, your diet's right, and the gym is right, everything will fall into place systematically. Well, the first thing is, is you've got to push aside the laziness. It's mainly diet and getting your ass into gym. Um, Athletes like us, we train twice a day, two hours each session, and it's mainly eating right. The thing is, I tell them straight, um, it's not easy, it's going to be all, it's, it's, it's going to be a lifestyle, you know. First advice is set yourself some goals, give yourself some time, and work hard. I think if you want to have a good physique, you really have to, to put your mind to it and focus. It's not impossible, I mean, there's a whole bunch of guys here that do it. You know, and it shows you that it is possible, but it is really hard work. Okay, I think the problem there, there with that situation is most people think fitness, bodybuilding. Two complete different things, different uh, diet plans, it's completely different. It's not the same, it's not freaky, it's just extremely hard work. I think girls are scared that they're gonna look like big bodybuilding men, but the only way that's gonna happen is if they do it that unnatural way. So if a normal girl goes to the gym and picks up some weights, eats healthily, whatever, she's, there's no way she'll ever get that huge. Um, a lot of girls are scared of doing weights because they think they're gonna get big but it's almost impossible because you know men get big with testosterone. As ladies, we don't have testosterone, so you can you can train with heavy weights. It actually helps to increase your basal metabolic rate, which is your um, how fast you burn up energy while you're resting. While I'm just sitting here, because I do weights, I'm burning up energy. The more muscle you have, the more fat you're going to be burning essentially anyway. So girls, for girls who want to lose weight, weight training is the best way to go. Thank <laughs> you.